don't know how to start. This is like a gold mine. This is, seriously, I have three, three notes <laughs> that were written to me like 15 years ago. This was the peak of my <laughs> dating life, I think. <sighs> Man, all right. I think it's safe to show you this <laughs> is me. Like this is, this is young me. Here we go, it's me, it's me and you. Just keep that in mind, uh, that this was like 12 year old me. <sighs> hey, what's up? Did you have fun last evening at the movie? Oh yeah, what movie? It was a really, really good start. Oh, just kidding, she says. We kissed 53 times. Three, three long ones and one hug. And now it says, let me blow your mind. My 12 year old mind. Nicole and I, maybe Brooke, We'll go to see The Mummy 2 this weekend. See, this is this is how I knew. I had to look up when The Mummy 2 came out in the movie theater, which was in 2001. So that is how I found out that I was 12 <laughs> when this happened. Like, The Mummy 2, out of all the movies that you could go see, that's the one. Maybe we can meet you and Steve there. Not even a question mark, just a period. This time, we will make out and I will only pay attention to you. It's freaking royal treatment, 12 years old. I was a spoiled boy. <laughs> At recess, if you see me sit down by myself, can you come sit with me? That would be funny if at lunch you held my hand and rubbed my leg. I think it's funny like 15 years later to read it. I don't know if it was, it was funny then. Uh, but I see the joke she's playing. I see the game. I see what's going on. Oh, oh, it says, for some reason, I want you to. Call me after school. And then it's written in pen afterwards. This is like an extra thought. And is Steve mad at Nicole? Well, ask him, please. Lots of love. My 12-year-old girlfriend. <laughs> We're gonna jump up to middle school. Uh, as you can tell, different penmanship, a little more rounded. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, clearly, looks like 12-year-old girlfriend didn't pan out. Who would have guessed it? <laughs> Very similar start to the last one. Hey, Tom, was up, like an up arrow. Genius. Wow, look at that. Anyway, <laughs> this, okay. <laughs> this is where it gets, right, really cuts to the chase. I wish I knew what was happening at this point. Here we go. I like you, but I don't want to go out with you. <laughs> Dang it. I know that doesn't make sense, but I like you, but I like flirting with you. And like, we could kiss and stuff, but I just don't want to go out. <laughs> what a freaking world it was in middle school. This was my life. But I don't want to go out with anyone because they've all been one after another. The boys, I mean. <laughs> and then it says, this is just like brutal. You're comfortable. I had fun at your house. That's another thing that makes me like you. Whenever we hang out, we have a good time. G2G, love ya, I think. <laughs> and then it signed her name, AKA Pink Rhinoceros, parentheses. I hope that's how you spell it. This is pencil. How does this survive? 15 years. I. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, I'm so thrilled about this, <laughs> as you can tell. Uh, the first one was a fifth grade summer, all right? Things were, things were looking pretty good for me at this point in time. Uh, and then, two years later, <laughs> there's, there's a trend, I think. Just as time went on, I would start getting these, these notes where it was just a little downhill. And also just a sneak peek into this, like, clearly freaking suave 12 year old to 14 year old that looked something like this. Like, let's just, let's remember that I looked something like this. I mean, I was kissing girls 53 times a day back <laughs> when I was 12. Uh, so that note, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> 
I'm trying to redo my studio space a little bit, which is exciting. Uh, but hey, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs> and in a different handwriting and a different pen. And is Steve mad at Nicole? Well, ask him, please. I think Nicole proofread this.